Hey everybody, just back with another video. Just wanted to react to another video of Pierre Polyev. Just a quick video here. It's a minute and a half long. And it's just him exposing Trudeau once again on the affordable housing. After having doubled the rent, doubled mortgage payments, and doubled the needed down payment for, the, for a home, the Prime Minister promised in his budget that he would double home building. Here we are, two years later, and home building is down. 8%. His housing agency says it will be down next year and the year after that. It had cost him $89 billion in programs to bring home building down. How much would he have to spend to bring it up? We will be reviving the dream of home ownership for young Canadians by making it easier to save up for a tax free down pay, save up tax free for down payment and giving renters credit for their monthly rent payments towards the ability to get a mortgage. We put forward the most comprehensive, ambitious housing plan this country has ever seen. The only thing it doesn't do is build homes. Since he made the, the most recent promise in 2022 to double housing construction. The number of builds is actually down and expected to continue to drop next year and the year after that, according to his own housing agency. Yet, he says we should all be assured because once again, he's spending tens of billions, tens of billions of dollars on the problem that he created. So can you tell us in what year will home building actually rise? Which year? You know what I love about this, just to start off, just to start things off here. Um, the part that I love is just the fact that you can tell that he has toned it way down ever since the whole wacko thing, and then Justin Trudeau's calling after him, calling him spineless, and the whole white supremacist shit. It just goes to show you once again that he is nothing like Donald Trump. Donald Trump doesn't have this gear, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Okay, he cannot just go, hey, nice and calm. Just going to expose it, let them know that this is extreme, that we cannot do this, it needs to change, and just let the Canadian people know, because it was getting into a little bit of a, you know, an, an insult fest between the two parties, and I think both sides were getting a little bit sick of it, so I think they're, they're, they're starting to, to tone it down a little bit, which is fine, I mean, I don't care either way, as long as Pierre Polyev keeps getting the points that he needs to get across, I don't personally care how he does it, but I understand that if you start to get a little bit, you know, hyper or aggressive in your speech and they start throwing the Donald Trump comparisons at you, you just slow it down a little bit, prove them wrong once again, show them one more time, show the, the Canadian people one more time that Justin Trudeau in the Liberal cabinet has no idea what they're talking about. Now, in terms of the affordable housing, again, Pierre Polyev is right. And if you don't believe him, if you if you think that, well, he was housing minister, he didn't do a good job, he didn't build that many homes, he built enough of them because rent was only 900 bucks. I believe that's some one bedrooms, but you could even get like two bedroom apartments here in Hamilton for that price back then. Now, 15, 16, 17, 1800, you're lucky if you get anything under than 1600. It's insane. And you know, Trudeau is not building enough, he is not building enough affordable houses, and he's not controlling how many migrants are coming in. Again, I, I don't want to sound too repetitive here, but I am not anti-immigration. But if you have an immigration program, you have to control how many people are coming in so that you can allow yourselves to build the appropriate infrastructure, roads, hospitals, uh, houses. Otherwise, you're just bringing in people and more people are just going to be homeless here. Just build the house. He should have been doing this the last eight years. And this wouldn't be as big of a problem, especially if you really got involved and said, hey, listen, we need to board to build some um, affordable houses, not just, hey, let's just build a bunch of $400,000 condos. That's not going to work. And even if those prices on those condos drop down to 150, 200 grand, that means the developers are going to lose a lot of money. They're not going to want to build more. To say, hey, listen, developers, this is what we want. Who wants to take the contract? It's going to be affordable housing, houses no more than $150,000, and condos no more than 100000 We need young people to have the opportunities that their grandparents, that their parents had. 
And Justin Trudeau has admitted it many times that the, this generation who's growing up now is not going to have that opportunity. Wages have been stagnant for about 20 years. In that time, I mean, 20 years ago, you could get a house here in Hamilton. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Th th these houses need a little bit of work or they needed a little bit of work, but you can get some houses in Hamilton for under $100,000. And if you wanted one that was in decent shape, you could still find one for about $110,000. Now, you can't find anything under than $300,000. It's triple. And that's for like a low-end house. A house that needs work, you have to spend $300,000 on it? It's insane. It doesn't make any sense. And like I said before, this is not stupidity. Just like the, the drug decriminalization is not stupidity from the Trudeau and the Trudeau liberals and the Singh NDPs. This is on purpose. There's clearly a war going on in the, against the middle class, and they want us gone. They want us to be poor. Poor people are very easily to be controlled. You need food? Here's some stamps, but you got to come to us for it. Okay, we'll give you some welfare or uni a universal basic income, but you got to get it from us, so you better behave and do what, we, what, do what you're told. They proved that during the lockdowns. What makes me happy, though, is that there is a lot of people who are starting to see through this. Thankfully, I mean, a few years ago, I, started, I was starting to think I was crazy. Like, am I the only one who feels this way? And no, there's a lot of people who are waking up to this. Thank God, because we need a change. I know it sucks. We got to wait, guys. But once we do, once we do get the change, it will be worth the wait, I assure you. Um, so that being said, this is going to be uh, it for today's video, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. And also, if you're do, uh, if you feeling extra generous, you could always uh, sign up for a donation or send a super uh, super thanks. They range anywhere from $4.99 to $6.99. Um, and again, no pressure. You don't. I'm not saying that you have to do it or there are, you should do it. I'm saying if you feel like it, that's definitely an option. And if you do sign up for a membership, I will be creating videos down the line for members only. Not all my content will be members only, but if people are buying memberships, I'm going to be making content specifically for them. I just want to wait a little bit and see if we can build that up a little bit. And um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.